Hello and welcome, Cancerians. This is your July 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Cancerians, what we do here right now. We will divide the reading into areas, so it is a bit easier to understand. We will look at the overall energy for the months ahead, before we then look at your emotional core, and then lastly move on to uh, opportunities. And opportunities for the most part are about um, what sustains you financially and where to go next with regards to sustaining yourself. Does that make sense? Now, remember, you are Cancerians. Cancer is the only sign that is governed by the moon. And we are in your sign. A lot of you will have a, a birthday in July. And therefore, the moon's energy is quite important. Now, we just so happen to have a super moon, which is a much more powerful uh, full moon. Um, and it's the first of four. So uh, my advice to you is, to understand that especially in the beginning of the month you might um, be hit uh, much more when it comes to looking at your emotions now remember you are governed by the moon so having a super moon having a moon that is closer to earth than, than, than at other times can only be a good thing for cancerians my advice to you is to watch the um july 2023 full moon reading that you can find on this channel just to be prepared about what the moon is actually up to and how that all works but remember in your case because you are governed by the moon while the super moon can be a bit much for a lot of people in cancerian's case because you are governed by the moon the moon is your friend um and it's sort of your energy um this will be super supportive for whatever it is you're going through this month, please watch the uh, the full moon reading, right? Just like, subscribe and share and find it there. So let's look at the overall energy for the months ahead. Um, and then let's just see where we're going. So, <laughs> so this is quite interesting because um, you are the sign that is in the fourth house. And when it comes to your overall energy, you are home. You have the fourth house here. So what the guides are saying is stay within what is yours. Someone else bothers you, not the time to deal with it. Right? Someone else upsets you, why are you allowing yourself to, to, to live someone else's life? Pay attention this month how much better you will feel when you are a bit more egocentric, if that makes sense. Uh, a bit more, it's all about me. <laughs> Right? Um, doesn't mean you have to be one of those people that, that is, uh, you know, ego, egotistical about things. Um, but the point is, the more you stay at what is truly yours, rather than um, looking at other stuff, um, which also then means if you look at the tons of other stuff, you're never going to look at the stuff that you really look at. This is the month for you to understand, I am at home. Which also makes sense, because you are Cancer, you are the fourth house. And we have a super moon. All that means look at how you feel, look at your emotions, don't bother about all the other shit that's happening around you, not your monkey, not your circus, right? And choose your battles wisely. Another important thing for Cancerians to realize. In any case, that was your overall energy. Now we're looking at your emotional core um, in the month of July. And <laughs> interesting. Like I said, you're governed by the moon. And yet, when it comes to your emotions, you have solar flares, which is what the sun, sort of semi the opposite of the moon, <laughs> um, has to deal with. So when it comes to your emotions, Cancerians, what you're being asked to is to reflect honestly is what I do and what I have done in my life, especially with regards to your love life, was that the way to go? Right? What are my expectations? Do I expect too much or do I expect too little? And what is it 
that actually makes a relationship? Is it just what you want? See what I mean? So there's a lot of stuff here about cancerians to, to, to look at how helpful is it when you follow a really old regime or maybe even someone else's teachings that they gave you. Right? So you could be conditioned by, by your parents um, and you find that their way of looking at stuff um, and their way of choosing partners um, means fake all to your life. So the point is, what you're being asked to do here is not to look at your current situation, but to look at your current situation through the filter of, am I manifesting this? Right? What's going on here? Where am I in the scheme of things? And the point is, and it sounds a bit, it sounds a bit breachy here. Like I, only, like I said, I only work here. What the guides, every the guides say, I have to say. What I'm getting for you, Cancerians, is to take responsibility for all the things that you messed up and that you miscalculated when it comes to what you feel happiness is about. Right? So, This is reflective. This is about saying, like, let's just let's just cut the crap, right? How come I'm always in the same in the same uh, energy? So that's another thing that comes up here. Um, should you feel that you're not really progressing in your in your uh, emotional life, if you're not really releasing stuff, and you're not really manifesting um, partners that are different to the one before, <laughs> if that makes sense, then maybe it's about how your outlook attracts the same type. Okay, so that's that. Again, it makes sense because we have a super moon we, um, that obviously um, has a massive energy, uh, it gives a massive energy uh, to your sign this month, right? So it makes sense astronomically and astrologically that the guides are asking you to look at anything and everything to do with your emotions, right? So that's how that works. And now let's look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July. 2023 and you get more than just one thing here right so you have taurus and pisces <laughs> now taurus and pisces by default are very similar and very different to one another now when you look when you look at the at the zodiac or the, or the, or the wheel um taurus taurus would follow um Pisces, right? So my sister, for instance, is a Taurus. She her birthday is in April. I'm a Pisces. My 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 birthday is in March. So it is the sign that follows. So what the guides are saying to you is, <coughs> we have to look at this from from Pisces Taurus point of view. <coughs> But here in your energy, the guides gave this to me in a Taurus Pisces energy. So when it comes to opportunities, they're asking you to go backwards. They're asking you, therefore, not to be proactive but to be reflective of what you had already have happened to you, if that makes sense, and then realize maybe if I cultivated what is given to me rather than just, you know, run through it, burst through it, not, not see things through, um, you would do better. The point the guides are making is when it comes to opportunities, there aren't many opportunities coming your way this month. Um, but it's about understanding what should I do when it comes to manifesting what it is you want to do that sustains you, if that makes sense, right? And and if you get a bit of a boost, um, you know, in any in any shape or form, financially or whatever it is your way, you know, and it's not so much about whether or not you you deserve it. It's understanding now that you have been given a bit of leeway, what am I going to do with it, right? So, ultimately, Cancerians, the, the entire energy here is about understanding that you have to sensitize rather than desensitize. The energy in July for Cancerians is very singular. Again, There's a reason for this with the, with the supermoon and everything. But, ah, sounds horrible, you're not always right, right? And when it comes to creating new beginnings, especially when it comes to, to 
survival and, 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 and living. Um, maybe listening to what other people have to say and how other people are trying to guide you makes more sense than thinking after just five weeks somewhere or just three days somewhere, you have it all figured out. So, Cancerians, a <laughs> bit of a more serious uh, uh, energy here for you. What the guides are saying to you is, don't just sit there thinking you have all the answers because nobody as a have ever has now should you be in the space where it's like i haven't got any fucking answers what are you talking about <laughs> that's fine too but what the guides are saying is it's because you're not always letting the advice uh, from others even reach you and you're not taking it in and reflect on it you're just doing your thing and it is not always helpful um quickly moving on from stuff um you know sitting with stuff while it is much harder um it's just the way to do and to go in july okay my dear cancerians that all i got like i said if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas um, please, 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 please do yourself the favor to watch the, um, the super moon, full moon reading for July because it will affect you really, really a lot, especially since you are the sign that is governed by the moon. Um, and that's all I got and I see you all next month. Bye-bye.